<clears throat> Blessed is our God, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Glory to you, our God. Glory to you, O heavenly King. Comfort of the spirit of truth, art and everywhere present, and fill us all things, treasure of good things, and giver of life. Come and abide in us, and cleanse us from every stain, and save our souls, a good one. Amen. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Ayus atheos, ayus isiros, ayus atanatos eleisonimas. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. All holy trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, forgive our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy one, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord, save your people and bless your inheritance, granting victory to the faithful over adversaries, and protecting your commonwealth by your cross. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, lifted up on the cross by your free will, Christ God, Grant mercies to the new commonwealth that bears your name. Glad in our faithful rulers by your power, giving them victory over their adversaries. May your alliance be for them a weapon for peace and a sensible standard. Now and always and forever and ever. Amen. Awesome and unfailing protection, do not spurn our supplication. Gracious and all praise, Theotokos. Uphold the Orthodox commonwealth. Preserve those you have called to govern and grant them victory from on high. For you, the only blessed one, gave birth to God. Have mercy on us, O God. According to your great mercy, we pray to you, hear us, and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, let us pray for all devout and orthodox Christians. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for our Archbishop Alexios and all our brotherhood in Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. For you are a merciful and loving God, and you we give glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Glory to the holy and consubstantial and life-giving and undivided trinity, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill among men. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill among men. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill among men. O Lord, you shall open my lips, my mouth will declare your praise. O Lord, you shall open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. O Lord, why do those who afflict me multiply? Many are those who rise up against me. Many are those who say to my soul, there is no salvation for him and his God. But you, O Lord, are my protector, my glory, the one who lifts up my head. I cried out to the Lord with my voice. He heard me from his holy hill. I lay down and slept. I awoke, for the Lord will help me. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people who set themselves against me all around. Arise, O Lord, and save me, my God, for you struck all those who were foolishly at enmity with me. You broke the teeth of the sinners. Salvation is of the Lord, and your blessing is upon your people. I lay down and slept. I woke, for the Lord will help me. O Lord, do not rebuke me in your wrath, nor chasten me in your anger, for your arrows are fixed in me, and your hand rests on me. There is no healing in my flesh because of your wrath. There is no peace in my bones because of my sins, for my transgressions rise up over my head like a heavy burden. They are heavy on me. My wounds grow foul and fester because of my folly. I suffer misery. I am utterly bowed down. I go all the day long with a sad face, for my loins are filled with mockeries, and there is no healing in my flesh. I am afflicted and greatly humbled. I roar because of the groaning of my heart. O Lord, all my desire is before you, and my groaning is not hidden from you. My heart is troubled, my strength fails me, and the light of my eyes, even this, is not with me. My friends and neighbors draw near and stand against me. My near kin stand far off, and those who seek my soul use violence, and those who seek evil from me speak folly, and they meditate on the deceit all the day long. 
But I'm like a deaf man who does not hear. I'm like a mute who does not open his mouth. I'm like a man who does not hear, who has no reproofs in his mouth. For in you, O Lord, I hope you will hear, O Lord my God. For I said, let not my enemies rejoice over me. For when my foot was shaken, they boasted against me. For I am ready for my wounds, and my pain is continually with me. For I will declare my transgressions, and I will be anxious about my sins. But my enemies live, and are become stronger than I. And those who hate me unjustly are multiplied. Those who repay me evil for good slander me, because I pursue righteousness. And they threw away my love as though it were a stinking corpse. Do not forsake me, O Lord of my God. Do not depart from me. Give heed to help me, O Lord of my salvation. Do not forsake me, O Lord my God. Do not depart from me. Give heed to help me, O Lord of my salvation. O God, my God, I rise early to be with you. My soul thirsts for you. How often my flesh thirsts for you in a desolate and passable and waterless land. So in the holy place I appear before you to see your power and your glory, because your mercy is better than life. My lips shall praise you. Thus I will bless you in my life. I will lift up my hands in your name. May my soul be filled as with marrow and fatness, and my mouth shall sing praise to you with lips filled with rejoicing. If I remembered you in my bed, I meditate on you at daybreak. For you are my helper, and in the shelter of your wings I will greatly rejoice. My soul falls close behind you. Your right hand takes hold of me. But they seek for my soul in vain. They shall go into the lowest parts of the earth. They shall be given over to the edge of the sword. They shall be a portion for foxes. But the king shall be glad in God, and all who swear by him shall be praised. For the mouth that speaks unrighteous things is stopped. I meditate on you at daybreak. For you are my helper, and the shelter of your wings I will greatly rejoice. My soul falls close behind you. Your right hand takes hold of me. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Doxa seo Dios. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. O Lord, God of my salvation, day and night I cried out before you. Let my prayer reach up to you. Lend your ear to my plea, O Lord. For my soul was filled with trouble and my life came close to Hades. I was reckoned with those who go down to the pit. I was like a man beyond help left for dead. Like the slain left to lie in the grave, those you remember no more, for they are cut away from your hand. You have cast me down to the deepest abyss into darkness and the shadow of death. Your anger was a burden upon me. You bored your billows over me. You took my friends away from me. You made me loathsome to them. I was closed in and could not escape. My eyes grew dim with distress. I cried out to you, O Lord, all the day I stretched out my hands to you. But will you work wonders for the dead? Or can physicians raise them up to sing your praise? Does anyone sing your love in the grave or your truthfulness in the midst of perdition? Are your marvels ever known in darkness or your justice in the land of oblivion? And yet, O Lord, I cried out to you, and to you my prayer shall rise at dawn. Why, O Lord, do you reject my prayer? Why do you hide your face away from me? I'm wretched and troubled since my youth. I was raised high, then humbled and distressed. Your plagues have swept over me, and your terrors have left me shaken. They surround me like waters all the day. They close in upon me from all sides. You have distanced from me, friend and neighbor, and my acquaintances, so wretched am I. O Lord, God of my salvation, day and night, I cried out before you. Let my prayer reach up to you. Lend your ear to my request, O Lord. Bless the Lord, O my soul. May all that is in me bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all the gifts from him. Who pardons all your sins and heals all your infirmities. Who ransoms your life from corruption and crowns you with his love and mercies. Who, who fills your longing with what is good and your youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord performs deeds of kindness and vindication for all the oppressed. He has made known his ways to Moses and his will to Israel's children. The Lord is the one of compassion and mercy, long-suffering and manifold love. His contention is not forever, nor will his anger always last. He has not dealt with us as our sins demand, nor does he repay our evil deeds. For as high as the heavens stand over the earth, so far has the Lord extended his love for those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our sins from us. As kind as a father is to his children, so is the Lord to those who fear him. For he himself knows well how we were formed, remembers we are only made of dust. A man his days resemble grass as a flower of the field, so shall he bloom. But let a breeze pass over him, and he is gone, and never shall he know his place again. 
But the love of the Lord is from all eternity and to all eternity for those who fear him. And his justice is upon the children of children of those who keep his covenant and remember his laws to obey them. The Lord has established his throne in heaven over all things. His kingship is supreme. Bless the Lord, all you his angels, you strong and mighty ones, who obey his word on hearing the sound of his decree. Bless the Lord, all you his powers, his attendants who obey his will. Bless the Lord, all you his works in every place of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Bless the Lord, O my soul, in every place of his dominion. O Lord, hear my prayer. In your truthfulness give heed to my plea, and in your righteousness answer me. And enter not into judgment with your servants, since of all the living none is just in your sight. The enemy has hunted me down. He has crushed my life into the ground. He has forced me to live in darkness like those long dead. My spirit faints with grief, and within me my heart is in despair. I recall the days of old, I meditated on all your deeds, I pondered the works of your hands. I stretched out my hand to you like a parched land, my soul thirsts for you. Make haste to answer me, O Lord, my spirit has failed me. Turn not your face away from me, lest I be like those in the pit. Grant that I may hear your steadfast love at dawn, for I have placed my hope in you. O Lord, teach me the way I should go, for I have lifted up my soul to you. O Lord, deliver me from my enemies. It is to you that I have fled. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. May your good spirit lead me on a straight path for the sake of your name. O Lord, you will keep me alive. In your righteousness, you will deliver me from affliction, and in your loving kindness, you will destroy my enemies. And bring to naught all those who oppress me, for I am your servant. O Lord, hear my prayer. In your truthfulness, give heed to my plea, and in your righteousness, answer me. May your good spirit lead me on a straight path. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and always and forever and ever. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 doxa si o Theos. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Our hope, O Lord, glory to you. In peace and us pray to the Lord. For the peace from above and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For peace in the whole world, the stability of the Holy Churches of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house and all who enter with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our Archbishop Alexios, also the honorable priesthood, the deacons in Christ, for the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our country, the president, and all in public service, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this city and parish, for every city and land, and for the faithful who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who travel by land, sea, and air, for those who are sick or suffering or in captivity, and for their safekeeping, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and distress, and from the peril of the coronavirus against us, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our brethren, those who lead the fight against the coronavirus, the doctors, the medical workers, and the scientists, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Remembering our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another, and our whole life to Christ our God. For all glory, honor, and worship.
worship of your due, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Good is the Lord, and he revealed himself to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord and call upon his holy name. God is the Lord and he revealed himself to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. All the nations surrounded me, but in the name of the Lord I defended myself against them. God is the Lord and he revealed himself to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. And this came about from the Lord, and it is wonderful in our eyes. God is the Lord, and he revealed himself to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. You became a pillar of patience, O devout one, emulating the forefathers. Job in his sufferings, and Joseph in his temptations, and the manner of the bodiless, though you were still in body. O devout Father Elipios, intercede with Christ God to save our souls. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The Konya now rejoices greatly in possession of the sacred casket of your relics which pour out streams of healings and cures and which from troubles and trials deliver all who come to you, O Holy Father, with ardent faith. Pray to Christ our God, devout Nikon, who preached repent, entreating him to grant us his great mercy. <clears throat> Both now and ever into the ages of ages, amen. The prophets proclaimed it beforehand, and the apostles taught it. The martyrs confessed it, and we have believed it, that you gave birth to God indeed, O Theotokos, and therefore we magnify your childbirth, which is ineffable. Αντιλαβούς όσων ελέησον και διαφύλαξον ημάς ο Θεός της η χάρη της της Παναγίας αχράντου υπευλογημένης εν δόξου δεσποίνης ημών Θεοτόκου και αη Παρθένο Μαρίας με τα πάντων των Αγίων νημονεύσοντες σε αυτούς και αλλήρους και πάσαν την ζωήν ημών Χριστό του Θεό παραθόμεθα, ότι σαν το κράτος και σου εστίν η βασιλεία και δύναμις και η δόξα του Πατρός και του Ιού και του Αγίου Πνεύματος νυν και αή και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων. To be husband man of your field by rooting out the idols. And so they proclaimed you, O Savior, to the nations and devoutly magnified you. The proclamation went forth into the earth and their words to the ends of the world. O praise, disciples of the Lord who like torches shed light throughout the earth. Intercede for me amid the darkness of passions and falls. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen.
The fruit of your womb immaculate is the fulfillment of the prophets and law. And so as we glorify you with knowledge as mother of God, we devoutly magnify you. As the lamps of the world, apostles of the Lord, you make the word flash out for the faithful. As you utterly dispel the fog of error, therefore as ever honored heralds of the Trinity, you enlighten the nations by baptism. The heavens declare the glory of God, the ferment shows the creation of his hands. Prophets have proclaimed beforehand, apostles have told, martyrs have confessed, and we have believed that you, O Christ, are the Son of God, the Redeemer of the world. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. The eyewitnesses of grace proclaimed you, virgin, to be heaven new manifest on earth. For you contained in your womb the God of heaven, who made that which he had assumed a thing of heaven. On earth you did not love the earth's glory, glorious ones, by proclaiming the God of heaven to humans, you led them all to him. God is wondrous in his saints. Your martyrs, O oh Lord, armed with the power of the cross, wounded the foe and shamed the deception of idols. And so with the angels the hymn you, shouting the triumphal hymn and glorifying you, O Christ. At their entreaties, grant us your great mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. The fruit of your womb, O Bride of God, was shown to be the cause of salvation for humans, and so glorifying you as the Mother of God, with mind and tongue we faithful magnify you. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your great mercy and according to the abundance of your compassion. Blot out my transgression. Wash me thoroughly from my lawlessness and cleanse me from my sin, for I know my lawlessness and my sin is always before me. Against you only have I sinned and done evil in your sight, that you may be justified with your words and overcome when you are judged. For behold, I was conceived in transgressions, and in sins my mother bore me. Behold, you love truth. You show me the unknown and secret things of your wisdom. You shall sprinkle me with hyssop, and I will be cleansed. You shall wash me, and I will be made whiter than snow. You shall make me hear joy and gladness. My bones that were humble shall greatly rejoice. Turn your face from my sins, and blot out all my transgressions. Create in me a clean heart, O God. Renew your right spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and uphold me with your guiding spirit. I will teach transgressors your ways, and the ungodly shall turn back to you. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, the God of my salvation, and my tongue shall greatly rejoice in your righteousness. O Lord, you shall open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. For if you decide sacrifice, I would give it. You will not be pleased with whole burnt offerings. A sacrifice to God is a broken spirit. A broken and humbled heart God will not despise. Do good, O Lord, in your good pleasure to Zion, and let the walls of Jerusalem be built. Then you will be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness, with offerings and hope and offerings. Then shall they offer young bulls on your altar. The church glorifies you today as the place of virtues and the ornament of ascetics and hymns you, Alipodios. By your prayers to those who honor with fervor your great goodness and struggle, grant release from the terrible transgressions in accordance with your name. 
in accordance with your name. O devout and God-bearing Nikung, imitating the angelic life you considered it to be refuse, the delights of the world, and you showed us the path of repentance, O all-blessed saint. For this reason, we all honor you as we now observe your memory. For you truly are the source of miraculous cures. You are the source of miraculous cures. On November 26th, we commemorate our devout father, Alipios the Stylite. On this day, we also commemorate our devout father, Silianos of Pafalagonia. On this day, we also commemorate our devout father, Akakios, who is mentioned in the Ladder of Divine Ascent. On this day, we also commemorate our devout father, Jacobos the Anchorite. On this day, we also commemorate our devout father, Nikon, repent. On this day, we also commemorate our devout father, Silas, Bishop of Persia. We remember the consecration of the Church of St. George in Kiparisos. Holy Neomartyr George, who competed in Hios in 1807, died by the sword. By the intercession of your saints, O God, have mercy on us. Amen. In the autocon chimitera to photos and hymnis timondes megalinomem. My soul magnifies the Lord and my spirit has rejoiced in God my Savior. Greater in honor than the cherubim and in glory greater beyond compare than the seraphim. You without corruption gave birth to God the Word, and are truly Theotokos, you do we magnify. For he has regarded the lowly state of his maidservant, for behold, henceforth all generations will call me blessed. Greater in honor than the cherubim, and in glory greater beyond compare than the seraphim. Without corruption, give birth to God the Word, and our truly Theotokos, you do we magnify. For he who is mighty has done me great things, and only is his name, and his mercy is on those who fear him from generation to generation. Greater in honor than the cherubim, and in glory greater beyond compare than the seraphim. You without corruption gave birth to God the Word, and are truly Theotokos, you do we magnify. Mm. He has shown strength with his arm, he has scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. Greater in honor than the cherubim, and in glory greater beyond compare than the seraphim. You without corruption gave birth to God the word, and are truly Theotokos, you do we magnify. He has put down the mighty from their thrones, and exalted the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. Greater in honor than the cherubim, and in glory greater beyond compare than the seraphim. You without corruption gave birth to God the word, and are truly Theotokos, you do we magnify. He has helped Israel, his servant, in remembrance of his mercy, and he spoke to our fathers, to Abraham, and to his seed forever. Greater in honor than the cherubim, and in glory greater beyond compare than the seraphim. You without corruption gave birth to God the word, and are truly Theotokos, you do we magnify. The heavens were astounded as a result, and the ends of the earth were astonished, inasmuch as God bodily appeared to the human race. O Theotokos, coming forth from your virgin womb, which indeed became more spacious than the heavens, and therefore by the orders of men and angels you are magnified. It is truly right to bless you, O Theotokos, ever blessed and most pure, and the mother of our God. Greater in honor than the cherubim, and in glory greater beyond 
compared than the seraphim. You without corruption gave birth to God the Word, and are truly Theotokos. You do we magnify. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and every Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you. For all the powers of heaven praise you and give you glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit and now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Devout and wise, the Lepios, the might of Christ enable you to have superhuman labors for fifty-three years, O oh, Father, you stood and prayed and struggled on the pillar and withstood attacks from everywhere, O oh, blessed saint, and therefore you are enjoying the ultimate of all blessings. <coughs> O God bearing Father Nikon, the casket which is lying, in which is lying your most illustrious body, pours out the healing gifts of God abundantly for everyone who comes to you with ardent faith. The choruses of the angels and archangels all together highly extol you, O Maiden, as Mother of the Highest God, and we the entire human race with faith and love glorify you. Unnoticed, let everything that breathes praise the Lord, praise the above the heavens, let them praise the Lord's name. For he spoke and they were made, he commanded and they were created. He established them forever and unto ages of ages. 
He sent forth his ordinance, and it shall not pass away. Praise the Lord from the earth, you dragons and all the deeps. Fire and hail, snow and ice, stormy wind, which perform his word. Mountains and all the hills, fruitful trees and all cedars. Wild animals and all cattle. Creeping things and flying birds. Kings of the earth and all peoples, princes and all judges of the earth. Young men and maidens, elders with younger. Let them praise the Lord's name, for his name alone is exalted. His thanksgiving is in the earth and heaven, and he shall exalt the horn of his people. A hymn for all his saints, for the children of Israel, a people who draw near to him. Sing to the Lord a new song, his praise in the assembly of his holy ones. Let Israel be glad in him who made him, and let the children of Zion greatly rejoice in their king. Let them praise his name with dance, with tambourine and harp. Let them sing to him. For the Lord is pleased with his people, and he shall exalt the gentle with salvation. The holy one shall boast in glory, and they shall greatly rejoice on their beds. The high praise of God shall be in their mouth, and a two-edged sword in their hand. To deal retribution to the nations, reproving among the peoples. To shackle their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron. To fulfill among them the written judgment, this is the glory for all his holy ones. Praise God in his saints, praise him in the firmament of his power. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to the abundance of his greatness. Devout and God-bearing Father, you now immediately enjoy what you desired, and you also illumine the minds of all on earth who with faith now observe your venerable memory and who with utmost solemnity congregate in your sacred church, blessed saint. Praise him with the sound of trumpet, praise him with the harp and lyre. Devout and God-bearing Father, you now immediately enjoy what you desired, and you also illumine the minds of all on earth who with faith now observe your all venerable memory and who with utmost solemnity congregate in your sacred church all blessed saints. Praise him with the timbrel and dance, praise him with strings and flute. To you all cried out, O Nikon, repent with all your heart, for the kingdom of Christ God is at hand, O believers, and thus you imitate the forerunner's zeal, O all blessed God-bearing saint. Pray to the Lord without ceasing on our behalf, as we glorify you faithfully. Praise him with resounding cymbals, praise him with triumphant cymbals. Let everything that breathe praise the Lord. You traveled westward, O Father, having begun in the east, and kindled all who heard you preach the words of repentance. Your city, Laconia, considers you her own Moses, for you cut off the sinful passions, like he did in Egypt of old, with your teachings on repentance and faith.
hearts went forth into all the earth for your labors you found the reward in heaven you destroyed the Since you have confidence before the Lord, <coughs> ask him to grant peace. now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. You are turning for the better for those in trouble and deliverance of the sick Virgin Theotokos, Savior City and your flock, since you are the peace of the embattled, tranquil calm of the in agitation and the believers only patronage to you belongs glory O Lord our God and to you we send up glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit now and forever and to the ages of ages Amen Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace, goodwill to men. We praise you, we bless you, we worship you, we glorify you, and we thank you for your great glory. Lord King, Heavenly God, Father Almighty, only begotten Son, Lord Jesus Christ and Holy Spirit, Lord God, the Lamb of God, the Son of the Father who take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You who take away the sins of the world, accept our supplication. You who sit at the right hand of the Father and have mercy on us. For you are the only Holy One. You are the only Lord Jesus Christ to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Every day I shall bless you and I shall praise your name forever and unto the ages of ages. Lord, you have become for us a refuge from generation to generation. I have said, Lord, have mercy on me, heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. Lord, to you I have fled. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. For with you is the fountain of life, in your light we shall see light. Extend your mercy to those who know you. Grant, O Lord, that in this day we may be kept without sin. Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our fathers, and praised and glorified is your name unto the ages. Amen. Let your mercy, Lord, come upon us, just as we have hoped in you. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your commandments. Blessed are you, O Master, make me understand your commandments. Blessed are you, O Holy One, enlighten me with your commandments. Lord, your mercy remains forever. Do not turn away from the works of your hands. To you belongs praise, to you belongs a hymn. To you belongs glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit.
now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us complete our morning prayer to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us save us and mercy on us and protect us, O oh God, by your grace. Lord have mercy. That the whole day may be perfect with holy peace. One sin, let us ask the Lord. Us, o Lord. For an angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask the Lord. Lord for pardon and remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask the Lord. For that which is good and beneficial for our souls and for peace for the world, let us ask the Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask the Lord. Let us ask for a Christian into our life, peace without shame and suffering, for good defense before the awesome judgment seat of Christ. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. For you are the God of mercy and compassion and love for mankind, and you we give glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit now and ever and unto ages <coughs> of ages. Amen. Peace be unto all. And with your spirit. Let us bow our heads unto the Lord. For yours it is to show mercy and to save us, O our God, and to you we give glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O glorious apostles, the pillars of the church, the preachers of the truth and brightly shining torches with fire of the spirit you burned all delusion and enlightened the human race therefore we beseech you pray unto our savior and god that he bring peace into the world and that he save our souls we were filled with your mercy in the morning, and in all our days we greatly rejoiced and were glad. Glad in us in return for the days you humbled us. For the years we saw evil things, and behold your servants and your works, and God their sons. Apostles of Christ, workmen of the Savior, Bearing the cross like a plow on your shoulders, you purify the conquered earth of the deception of idols and showed the word of faith. And so you are rightly honored, holy apostles of Christ. And let the brightness of the Lord our God be upon us, and prosper for us the works of our hands. Breathing as one, looking to one end, the victorious martyrs found one road of life, death for the sake of Christ, as they emulated each other's end, oh, the wonder, grasping tortures like treasures, they said to one another, Should we even now not die, we shall most surely die, and by birth we shall serve what is due. Let us perform the duty which loves honor, purchasing life with death. At their prayers, O God, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. 
both now and ever, into the ages of ages. Amen. Unless I have become a haunt of pleasures, wretch that I am, therefore I ever appear a laughing stock to my foes. Therefore I fall down before <coughs> you, O holy virgin. See my tribulation. Offer me help. Cleanse me by tears and deliver me, I pray. O pure one, and let those who rejoice at my destruction be put to shame. It is good to give thanks to the Lord and to sing to your name, O Most High, to proclaim your mercy in the morning and your truth at night. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Aios Otheos, Aios Spirios, Aios Athanatos, Lation in Mass. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us, Lord, forgive our sins, Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities, for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit now and ever and unto ages of ages. You became a pillar of patience, O devout one, emulating the forefathers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You became a pillar of patience, O devout one, emulating the forefathers. Job in his suffering and Joseph in his temptations. And the manner of the body, lest though you were still in body. O devout Father Alipios, intercede with Christ God to save our souls. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Laconia now rejoices greatly in possession of the sacred casket of your relics which pour out streams of healings and cures and which from troubles and trials deliver all who come to you holy father with ardent faith pray to christ our god devout nikon who preached repent entreating him to grant us his great mercy. Now and ever to the ages of ages, amen. Everyone wherever he is saved rightly runs to you for refuge. <coughs> Who else can protect us like you, O Theotokos? You are the shelter for our souls. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great mercy, we pray you hear us and have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Let us pray for pious and orthodox Christians. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again we pray for our Archbishop Alexios. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again we pray for our brethren, the priests, the higher amongst the higher deacons, the monastics, and all our brotherhood in Christ. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, 
protection, forgiveness, and remission of the sins of the servants of God, all pious Orthodox Christians residing and visiting in this city, the parishioners, the members of the parish council, the stewards and benefactors of this holy church. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again we pray for the blessed and ever memorable founders of this holy church and for all our fathers and brethren who have fallen asleep before us, who here have been piously laid to their rest, as well as the Orthodox everywhere. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again we pray for those who bear fruit and do good Good works in this holy and all venerable church for those who labor and those who sing and for the people here present who await your great and rich mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. For you are a merciful God who loves mankind and do we offer up glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Wisdom. Blessed are you, Christ our God, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Make firm, Lord our God, the holy and pure faith of the pious Orthodox Christians, together with the Holy Church and the city forever. Amen. Greater in honor than the cherubim, and in glory greater beyond compare than the seraphim. You, without corruption, gave birth to God the Word, and are truly Theotokos. You do we magnify. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Father, bless. May Christ, our true God, through the intercessions of his all-pure and immaculate Holy Mother, the power of the precious and life-giving cross, the protection of the honorable by those powers of heaven, the supplications of the honorable glorious prophet and foreigner John the Baptist, of the holy glorious and praiseworthy apostles, of the holy, glorious, and triumphant martyrs of our righteous and God-bearing fathers of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, <coughs> and our devout fathers, Alipios the Stylite, and Nikon the Repenter, Silianos of Paphlagonia, whose memories we observe, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, for he is good and loves mankind. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. Blessed is the kingdom of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. In peace let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the peace from above and for the salvation of our souls let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the stability of the holy churches of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this holy house, and for those who enter with faith, faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For pious and orthodox Christians, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For Archbishop Alexios, for the Honorable Presbytery, for the Deacon in Christ, for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our country, for the present, and for all in public service, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this city, and for every city and land, and for the faithful who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For those who travel by land, sea, and air, for the sick, the suffering, the captives, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For 
our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and distress, and from the peril of the coronavirus against us, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our brethren, those who lead the fight against the coronavirus, the doctors, the medical workers, and the scientists, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another, and our whole life to Christ our God. You belong all glory, honor, and worship to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. It is good to give thanks to the Lord and to sing to your name, O Most High. By the prayers of the Theotokos, Savior, save us. To proclaim your mercy in the morning and your truth at night. Despres mi estis Theotokos, soter sous animos. The Lord my God is upright and there is no wrongdoing in him. By the prayers of the Theotokos, Savior, save us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Despres mi estis Theotokos, soter sos Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and the ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another, and our whole life to Christ our God. For yours is the dominion, and yours is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. The Lord reigns, he clothed himself with majesty. The Lord clothed and girded himself with power. Save us, O Son of God, among the saints glorified, we sing to you, Alleluia. And he established the world which shall not be moved. So, so, ni mosi eteo, en agis tamastos, psalundas y Alleluia. Holiness is proper to your house, O Lord, unto length of days. Save us, O Son of God, among the saints glorified. We sing to you, Alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. O only begotten Son and Logos of God, being immortal, you condescended for our salvation to take flesh from the holy Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, and without change became man. Christ our God, you were crucified and conquered death by death, being one of the Holy Trinity, glorified with the Father. And 
ti chiedi nei rini tu chiedi io dei thome chiedi e nei so anti la vuso sono in lei sono chiedi a fila che sono in masso te osti si chariti chiedi e nei so Is Panagia Sahrandu Iperblogimenis in Doxo del Spinissimo Teotoco, che ha i Parthenu Maria, ma da Pando Donaion, Nimon Epsundes, e a tutti che è lì, tutti che passano in Zoinimon, Cristo Teo Parathometham. Ότι αγαθός και φιλάνθρωπος Θεός υπάρχεις και στην δόξα να αναπέμπωμεν το Πατρί και το Υιό και το Αγίο Πνεύμα την Ιν και Αΐ και Ιησούς αιώνας των αιώνων. Μακόνια rejoices greatly in possession of the sacred casket of your relics which pour out streams of healings and cures and which from troubles and trials deliver all who come to you O holy father with art and faith pray to christ our god devout <coughs> who preach repent Entreating him to grant us his great mercy. Sophia, O Earthy, come let us worship and bow down. Of your relics which pour out streams of healings and cures, and which from troubles and trials deliver all who come to you, Holy Father, with ardent faith. Pray to Christ our God, devout Nikon, who preached repent, entreating him to grant us his great mercy. Ananus, you became a pillar of patience, O devout one, emulating the forefathers, Job in his sufferings, and Joseph in his temptations, and the manner of the bodiless, though you were still in body. O devout father, Alipios, intercede with Christ God to save our souls. O blessed are you, O Christ our God, who by sending down the Holy Spirit upon them, may the fishermen wise and through them illumine the world. And to you the universe was ever drawn, all glory to you. So son kiri et on la on su, ke flo ye son ting liro no mi an su, ni kastis vasi levsi, katavar var on thoru menos, ke ton son filaton, the aptus tavrus upolitevman. You have taken your 
yourself, O Lord, the pinnacle of your disciples, those unerring theologians and preachers, to enjoy your blessings and repose, for you accepted their labors and their death as being higher than any old burnt offering, for only you know what is in the heart. To Kiryu de Ithomen, Kiryu de Ithomen, Odi Agios Yo Theos Simon, Kisin Doxen on a Pembomen, to Patrick, to Iog, to Agiopnev, Matinin Kiai. Eis tu se onas ton e onon. Amen. Aios o Theos, Aios is Kiros, Aios alanatos, Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both Amen. now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Ae, O Satanatos, eleison imans. Dinamis. Ae, O Their proclamation went forth into all the earth and their words unto the ends of the world. Wisdom. The reading is from Paul's second letter to the Thessalonians. Let us be attentive. Brethren, we are bound to give thanks to God always for you, brethren beloved by the Lord, because God chose you from the beginning to be saved through sanctification by the Spirit and belief in the truth. To this he called you through our gospel, so that you may obtain the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. So then, brethren, stand firm and hold to the traditions which you were taught by us, either by word of mouth or by letter. Now may our Lord Jesus Christ himself and God our Father, who loved us and gave us eternal comfort and good hope through grace, comfort your hearts and establish them in every good work and word. Finally, brethren, pray for us that the word of the Lord may speed on and triumph as it did among you, and that we may be delivered from wicked and evil men, for not all have faith. But the Lord is faithful. He will strengthen you and guard you from evil. And we have confidence in the Lord about you, that you are doing and will do the things which we command. May the Lord direct your hearts to the love of God and to the steadfastness of Christ. Peace be to you, the reader. Alleluia, alleluia. Wisdom, arise, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be on to all. And with your spirit. The reading 
is from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Luke. Let us be attentive. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. At that time, Jesus, taking the twelve, said to them, Behold, we are going up to Jerusalem, and everything that is written of the Son of Man by the prophets will be accomplished. For he will be delivered to the Gentiles and will be mocked and shamefully treated and spit upon. They will scourge him and kill him, and on the third day he will rise. But they understood none of these things. This saying was hid from them, and they did not grasp what was said. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. <clears throat> In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Someone is looking forward to my sermon, I think. So today, brothers and sisters, uh, is November 26th. And in the church's calendar, uh, we celebrate several saints, St. Saint Alipios the Stylite, who spent 53 years on top of a pillar, praying for the world, working many miracles. We celebrate also St. Stylianos of Paphlagonia. Uh, and usually, it's, although he's kind of a minor saint throughout history, uh, he's very popular, especially in Greece, uh, because he is the, the patron saint for the protection of children especially small children. So that's maybe why she's so excited. Uh, so St. Stylianos, usually in Greece, we have liturgy every year on this day to celebrate St. Stylianos. We have an icon of him. But uh, today in, a, in the U.S. here, we're not perhaps so much celebrating this saint, or we haven't gathered here together so much to celebrate this saint as to acknowledge this American holiday of Thanksgiving, which chronologically, although it may seem quite old, several hundred years old, is actually much, much, much later than the traditions that we're celebrating in the church. These saints lived over a thousand years before Thanksgiving was even conceived. The lectionary that we read today, the epistle reading and the gospel reading were set many, many hundreds of years before Thanksgiving was conceived. <clears throat> and yet, we can take this American holiday, this new American holiday that existed before the Orthodox Church came to America, and as the Orthodox Church, we can baptize this holiday, and we can make it a Christian Orthodox holiday that we can celebrate. The Church, throughout its history, has always sought to incarnate itself, to take on flesh and bones of whatever culture and whatever time it went to, a new incarnation in every time and place. Christ was incarnate and took on flesh and bones in a specific culture and a specific place, but his church, which is Christ's body, extended throughout time. His church, which is his body, continues to take on the flesh and bones of each place. And so we take on these uh, traditions that come to us in the culture that we uh, approach In this case, the church is approaching the American culture. And those elements of the culture that can bear the light of the gospel, we receive them. And those elements of the culture that cannot bear the light of the gospel, we reject them. <laughs> but in this holiday, as the church has done so many times throughout its history, think 1,700 years ago, the celebrations, pagan celebrations, were brought into the church. They were baptized in the church, and they were given Christian meaning. But this, so this one for us, Thanksgiving, is the easiest by far to baptize because it has its root in a basic Christian uh, notion of gratitude and thanksgiving to God. And in fact, by coincidence, the epistle reading starts out with these very words. In Paul's second letter to the Thessalonians with selections from chapters 2 and 3, it begins today saying, Brethren, we are bound to give thanks to God always for you. O philomen efcharistin. We are uh, uh, obligated, it, 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 we ought to efcharistin, to Eucharist. 
you, to give thanks. And that's why no, nothing could be more fitting than for us to gather here today to celebrate the Eucharist, which means literally the giving of thanks. This is what we as Christians do. This is the center of our lives. It should be the Eucharist, the constant giving of thanks to God. And even just the first paragraph from the epistle reading today is so beautiful beyond this idea of giving thanks to God always for you. He talks about how the Thessalonians whom he had formed, that they were called to be saved through sanctification by the Spirit and belief in the truth. So belief in the truth, faith, but what does he say before that? Also sanctification by the Holy Spirit. So belief and faith is not enough. It's not enough. We have to also be sanctified by the Holy Spirit. The purpose of the Christian life is to acquire the grace of God, to acquire the Holy Spirit, and to be sanctified by it, so that together with believing in the right truth, taught to us by the church, encapsulated in the church, we can then be saved. And then it says, so that, the purpose of, of all this, so that you may obtain the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ so that we may shine like he did on Tabor with the uncreated energies of God. And then he says, So then, therefore, brethren, how do we do this? Stand firm and hold to the traditions which you are taught by us, either by word of mouth or by letter. So not only his letters that were incorporated 300 years later into the New Testament, but also the oral traditions that he had passed on to the to them that he had received from the apostles and from the Lord himself. These traditions of the church are the giving of flesh and bones to our faith. They make tangible our faith. They manifest Christ's body here on earth. And we, by participating in these things, are participating in his body. We're uniting ourselves to his glorified body, being sanctified by the Spirit and therefore being saved. There's much we could say about this, but I want to focus on the first line, giving thanks to God always. And I just want to share with you a few quotes from the Holy Fathers of our church. <clears throat> Throughout the centuries, over 2,000 years, I have quotes from the first century all the way to our own times. Just a few quotes about gratitude and thanksgiving and how important it is for our salvation. She's excited about this. So St. Ambrose of Optina, St. Ambrose of Optina, he was uh, one of the last elders of the Russian monastery of Optina in the 19th, late 19th century, a holy man, sanctified by the Holy Spirit. And he says this, we must begin with thanksgiving for everything. Begin with thanksgiving for everything. The beginning of joy is to be content with your situation. The beginning of joy is to be content with your situation. St. John Chrysostom, in the 4th, 5th century, he says, Happiness can only be achieved by looking inward and learning to enjoy whatever life has. And this requires transforming greed into gratitude. Transforming greed, this desire to acquire, which our, our culture in particular now pushes so much, this consumerism, we're not fulfilled. We're not who we really are unless we're constantly acquiring something. But this says transforming that attitude from greed, wanting to be fulfilled by something from the outside that we don't have, and instead being thankful for the things that we already have, the things that God has already given us. So transforming greed into gratitude. And then from the Desert Fathers, from the fourth, third, fourth century, Abba Benjamin says, if you observe the following, you can be saved. Be joyful at all times, pray without ceasing, and give thanks for all things. If we do these things, we can be saved. And then, in our own time, in the 20th century, St. Paisios, the Athenite, says, grumbling is caused by misery. And it can be put aside by doxology. Doxology, he means glorifying and thanking God. 
He continues, grumbling begets grumbling, and doxology begets doxology. When someone doesn't grumble over a problem troubling him, but rather glorifies God, then the devil gets frustrated and goes off to someone else who grumbles in order to cause everything to go even worse for him. You see, the more one grumbles, the more one falls into ruin. Sometimes the devil deceives us and makes us unable to be pleased with anything. However, one can celebrate all things in a spiritual manner with doxology and secure God's constant blessing. So turning this attitude from grumbling, which begets grumbling, to doxology, praise and thanksgiving, which begets praise and thanksgiving. And finally, I'll conclude with this. As the most practical thing we can do in our lives, the most practical thing we can do today. St. Basil the Great says in the 4th century, when you sit down to eat, pray. When you eat bread, do so thanking him for being so generous to you. If you drink wine, be mindful of him who has given it to you for your pleasure and as a relief in sickness. When you dress, Thank him for his kindness in providing you with clothes. When you look at the sky and the beauty of the stars, throw yourself at God's feet and adore him who in his wisdom has arranged things in this way. Similarly, when the sun goes down and when it rises, when you are asleep or awake, give thanks to God who created and arranged all things for your benefit to have you know, love, and praise their creator. Let us do that today, brothers and sisters. All things that God gives us, let us recognize that everything belongs to God. Everything belongs to the God, the, the earth and the fullness thereof. And he graciously gives them to us for us to be stewards of these things. Let us be thankful for him and not fall in love with the things themselves, the created things, but fall in love with the one who created them. Amen. Όπως υπό του κράτου σου πάντοτε οι φυλατόμενοι σι δόξα να αναπέμπουμε το πατρί και το ιό και το αγίο πνεύμα την ίν και αι και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων.
Precious gifts he presented, let us pray to the Lord. Lord of mercy. For this holy house and for those who enter with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord of mercy, help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. That the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless. Let us ask the Lord. Grant this, o Lord. For an angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask the Lord. For pardon and remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. For that which is good and beneficial for our souls and for peace for the world, let us ask the Lord. complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance. Let us ask the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. And let us ask 
us for Christian into our life, peace without shame and suffering, and for a good defense before the awesome judgment seat of Christ. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another, and our whole life to Christ our God. of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and ever, and the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be with of mind we may confess Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the Trinity, one in essence, and in The doors, the doors in wisdom, let us be attentive. I believe in one God, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, True God of true God, begotten, not created, of one essence with the Father, through whom all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and became man. He was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate, and he suffered and was buried. On the third day, he rose according to the scriptures. He ascended into heaven is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. His kingdom will have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who spoke through the prophets in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I expect the resurrection of the dead and life of the age to come. Amen. Amen. Let us stand, right. let us stand in all, let us be attentive, that we may present the holy offering. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God the Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us lift up.
let us give thanks unto the triumphal hymn, exclaiming, proclaiming, and saying, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord of Especially for our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever-Virgin Mary. It is truly right to call you blessed, O
Εν πρώτης μνής δικήρη του Αγιπισκόπου ημών Αλεξίου, αν χάρισε τις Αγίες Οικλησίες εν ειρήνη σών, εν τιμών και αμακροημερεύοντα και ορθοτομούντα των λόγων της της αληθείας. Και ο ανέκαστος κατά τη άνιεν έχει και πάντων και πάσον. Και πάντων και πάσον. Και εδώ σημείνεν εν ίστο μάτι και μία καρδιά δοξάζειν και να μνήν το πάντημον και μεγαλοπρεπές όνομά σου του Πατρός και του Υιού και του Αγίου Πνεύματος νυν και αή και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων. Και έστε τα λέει του Μεγάλου Θεού και σωτήρος ημών Ιησού Χριστού με τα πάντων Having commemorated all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the precious gifts he presented and consecrated, let us pray to the Lord. Lord Let our God, who loves mankind, having accepted them at his holy and celestial and mystical altars and offering of spiritual fragrance, may in return send down upon us the divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Having asked for the unity of the faith and for the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. Καταξίωσον ημάς δέσποτα με τα παρησία σαν κατακρίτως το μάνα επικαλείστε σε τον επωράνιον δεόν πατέρα και λέγει. Πάτερ ημών, ο εν της ουρανής, αγιάς δείτε το όνομά σου, ελθέτω η βασιλεία σου, γεννηθεί το το θέλημά σου, ως εν ουρανών και ψυχής τον άρχημον των Ιούσιων, δώσ' μη σήμερα και άφησε μη το αφήματα ημών, πως και εμείς αφήμε τις εκλέτες ημών, και μην είσαι μια και εσείς μας τους πειρασμών, αλλά είσαι μας από το πονήρου. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Ας και φαλάσι μόν το κύριο κλίνομε. Χάρη τη και εκτιμή και φιλανθρωπία των μονογενού σου ή μεθού ευλογητό ή συν τον Παναγίο Καγαθό και ζώπιο σου πνεύμα την νυν και αή. 
Χριστός εονάς τον εονάν. believe and confess, Lord, that you are truly the Christ, the Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the first. I also believe that this is truly your pure body, and this is truly your precious blood. Therefore, I pray to you, have mercy upon me, and forgive my transgressions, voluntary and involuntary, in word and deed, known and unknown, and make me worthy without condemnation to partake of your pure mysteries for the forgiveness of sins and for life eternal. Amen. How shall I, whom unworthy, enter into the splendor of your saints? If I dare to enter into the bridal chamber, my clothing will accuse me, since it is not a wedding garment. And being bound up, I shall be cast out by the angels. In your love, Lord, cleanse my soul and save me. Loving Master, Lord Jesus Christ, my God, let not these holy gifts be to my condemnation because of my unworthiness, but for the cleansing and sanctification of soul and body and the pledge of the future life and kingdom. It is good for me to cling to God and to place in him the hope of my salvation. Receive me today, Son of God, as a partaker of your mystical supper. I will not reveal your mystery to your adversaries, nor will I give you a kiss as did Judas. But as a thief I confess to you, Lord, remember me in your kingdom. Heavens declare the glory of God, the <coughs> firmament shows the creation of his hands. Their proclamation went forth into Son, he said, it's tabernacle, and it rejoices exceedingly. The proclamation went forth into all the earth, and the words to the ends of the world. Hallelujah. 
his bridal chamber like a strong man to run a race. Their proclamation went forth into Faith and love draw near. Alleluia. Its rising is from one end of heaven, turned its circuit, runs to the other end, and nothing shall be hidden from its heat. Their proclamation went forth into all the earth and their words to the ends of the world. blameless converting souls the testimony of the lord is trustworthy making children wise their proclamation went forth into Of the, of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The proclamation went forth into all the earth, and the words to the fear of the Lord is pure, enduring unto ages of ages. Their proclamation went forth into To be desired are they than gold and a very precious stone, sweeter also than honey and the honeycomb. Their proclamation went forth into Σον ο Θεός των λαών σου και ευλόγησον την κληρονομία σου. We have seen the light of true light and have received the heavenly spirit. We have found the true faith by worshiping the undivided Trinity. Saved, saved us. 
πάντοτεν ίν και αΐ και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων. Amen. Let our mouths be filled with your praise, O Lord, that we may sing of your glory, because you have made us worthy to partake of your holy mysteries. Keep us in your sanctification that all the day long we may meditate upon your righteousness. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Arise, having partaken of the divine, holy, pure, mortal, heavenly life, creating an awesome mysteries of Christ, let us worthily give thanks unto the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Having prayed for a perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless day, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. For you are sanctification, and to you we give glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, and now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let us go forth in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. O Lord, who blesses those who bless you and sanctifies those who put their trust in you, save your people and bless your inheritance. Protect the whole body of your church. Sanctify those who love the beauty of your house. Glorify them in return by your divine power. And forsake us not who have set our hope in you. Grant peace to your world, to your churches, to the clergy, to our civic leaders, to the armed forces, and to all your people. For every good and perfect gift is from above, coming down from you, the Father of lights. And to you we give glory, thanksgiving, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord, from this time forth, forever and forever. Eternal, my King, you have loved him and honored, apotonim, eos tu eonos. Eternal, my King, you have loved him and honored, apotonim, eos tu Thirty years ago, this day exactly, Ted and Lisa Saras lost their son Panayoti. So, please join us in uh, praying a Trisagion prayer in his memory and the memory of their families. Within your peace, O Lord, where all your saints repose, give rest also to the soul of your servant, for you alone are immortal. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. You are our God, who descended into Hades, and loosed the pains of those who were held captive. Grant rest also, o Savior, to the soul of your servant. Hope now and forever and to the ages of ages, amen. Most pure and spotless virgin, who ineffably gave birth to God, intercede with him for the salvation of the souls of your servant. 
Του Κύριου <coughs> ελέησον ημάς ο Θεός, κατά το μεγελίο σου δε μαθά σου, επάκουσον και ελέησον. <coughs> Έτι διόμαθα υπέρ να πάυσει ως των ψυχών των και κοιμημένων δούνων <coughs> του Θεού, Παναγιώτου Γεωργίου Ελένης Ανεγύρου, Παναγιώτου Μαγαρίτης, και υπέ του συγχωρηθήνει αυτή σπαμπτή μέλημα εκούσιον τε και ακούσιον. Κύριε Δέησον, Κύριε Δέησον, Κύριε Δέησον. Όπως Κύριος ο Θεός τάξη τας ψυχάς αυτών ένθιδη και αναπαύονται τα λέει του Θεού την βασιλεία των ουρανών και άφηση των αυτών ομαρτιών παρά Χριστό το θανάτου βασιλεί και Θεό ημών έτησόμεθα. Παράσε Κύριε. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. O God of spirits and all mankind, as you trample down death, overthrowing the evil one and granting life to your world, will you, Lord, grant rest to your servants, Panayotis, Georgios, Eleni, and Nargiros, Panayotis, Margarita, now asleep in death, in a place of light, a place of renewed life, a joyous place, shunned alike by pain and sorrow and sighing. Every sin they may have committed in word or deed or thought, as our good and loving God, forgive. For no one can live and not sin. You alone are without sin. Your righteousness endures forever, and your word is truth. Tu kiriu deitho men. O disi enas, disi sizui, ken apavsis, son kikimi men on duron su, panayotu georiu, elenis anegiru, panayotu magaritis, Christe o Theosimon, ke sidin doxan anapembo men. Συν τον άρχου σου πατρί, και το Παναγίο κακαθώ, και σ' οποίο σου πνεύμα την ίν και αΐ, και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων. Αιώνια η μνήμη, αιώνια η μνήμη, αιώνια αυτό, Κύριο και έλεος αυτού έθεφη μας, τη αυτού θεία χάτη, τη φιλανθρωπία, πάντοτε νυν και αή, και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων. Amen. Glory to you, our God, and our hope, Lord, glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Father bless. May Christ, our true God, through the intercessions of his all pure and all magnet, Holy Mother, the power of the precious and life giving cross, the protection of the honorable by those powers of heaven, the supplications of the honorable, glorious prophet and foreigner John the Baptist, of the holy, glorious, and praise for the apostles, of the holy, glorious, and triumphant martyrs of our righteous and God bearing fathers, of our Father among the saints, John Christus, the Archbishop of God. Constantinople, whose divine liturgy we celebrated, of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, of St. Alipios, the stylized St. Nikon, repent, and St. Stylianos of Paphlagonia, whose memory we celebrate this day, and all the saints, and mercy us and save us, for he is good and loves mankind. Through the prayers of our holy fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Happy Thanksgiving. Thank you for joining us today. I wish you have, I uh, hope you have a wonderful day, uh, enjoying uh, each other in a safe way, and uh, we'll have Vespers Saturday night at 5, and then liturgy uh, on Sunday as usual.